Okay, very quick video today. So over the last couple of years, I'm uploading tutorials for front-end systems. A lot of people have been asking me over time, i got a black screen, I can't open up Retrobat, I don't see anything. So I've covered this on and off over the last couple of years, but I'm going to do a dedicated video for you. So we're going to need two packages, and guaranteed this will sort your problem out. So what we're going to do first of all is download a program just here. This is the RectX end user runtime web install. What we're going to do with this is just go to download and obviously make sure you're choosing the relevant language. Obviously for me it's English. We're going to go to download and that's going to download little XE. So if we left click on this one and if you get a pop up just press yes. What we're going to do just here is just go to I accept the agreement. Go to next and make sure to take away install the Bing Bar. I'm sure a lot of people don't want that. But like a lot of installers, you'll get things like that added on. And without looking, all of a sudden you've got all sorts of things being installed and you don't want it. So we're going to go to next. And we're just going to wait for this one to install. So this is the first thing. And what this is going to do is exactly what it tells you just here. So end user runtime installs a number of runtime libraries for the legacy DirectX SDK for some games. And that obviously includes front ends too in some cases. So anyways, just to be on the good side of caution here, we're going to install this anyways. So next up, we're going to need Visual C++ all-in-one. And I'm going to leave a link in my description so you can download both of these packages. Now, we're going to go just here, and we're going to download on the left-hand side just here, Visual C++ Redisputable Runtimes All-in-One. Now, this is a fairly new package just here, as we can see, March 2025. We're going to go to download. And I'm going to use the UK server just here. So obviously if you're in Germany or in America, just use a server from one of these. Okay, so we've now downloaded this package and it's going to download in a zip folder. If we just open this one. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop. Right click, new folder. We don't need to name this one anything. What we're going to do is just drag and drop all of these files inside of that zip folder inside of that new folder I've just created. So everything's now extracted. If we go inside of this folder, what we're gonna do is go to the top one just here. It says install underscore all dot bat. Just double left click on this one. And what this is gonna do is continuously pop up with little windows. And what you're gonna do is press yes all the way through. And you're gonna do this around 11 or 12 times. And as you can see, the terminal in the background is actually installing things. So we can see what it's doing. Okay, so once everything has been installed, we can actually delete all of those files we just extracted because everything's now installed on your computer. The next thing I'm going to recommend doing is, of course, updating your graphics card. So for me, I'm using a GeForce. So I'm going to just open up GeForce Experience. And of course, you're always going to want to make sure your drivers are well up to date. Okay, so if I just go to drivers just here, what we're going to do is check for updates. And here we go. So I've not opened this for a little while, but as we can see, I've actually got a NVIDIA Studio Driver new release. So I may as well just download this one. And that's about it, but the most crucial packages to download in case of black screens, whatever, then just download the Visual C++ all-in-one, as well as the DirectX user runtime package, like I've showed you in the video. And also make sure your, say, GeForce or whatever graphics card you're using is fully up to date. Anyways, if this video has been helpful today, make sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That that means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. Anyways, if this video has helped you, drop us a line in the comments as always. Thanks for watching.